Now, one of the things that's going on in the world right now is all of the controversy around the Bangladesh incident. How do you actually look at companies on the inside? It is critical that companies understand every step of the manufacturing process or the supply chain process because the ramifications of our activities are often not going to be in their con direct control these days. And of course that's one of the issues which is that you get subcontracting and subcontracting going on within supply chains but of course as customers, as consumers, we're not really that interested in the corporate structure that might be going on. What we want to be assured of is that the products that we're buying, that we're wearing in that case, have actually been made with good. But this is a real challenge for our clients uh, and for businesses around the world. Managing that aspect, uh, the, the right way of doing business versus cost. What we are seeing is a lot of different efforts and ideas, concepts being pulled together to manage supply chains. So there's a lot of collaboration going on by various organizations, whether it's around the environment and working together to share a water source, for example, or working with local organizations uh, to help with labor, or working with other companies that are even doing the purchasing. As far as Bangladesh is concerned, I know, you know we'd all like to see that these manufacturers, the brands involved, actually club together and try and help make sure that it doesn't happen again. It's not good enough just to close shop and run out because ultimately you're not really contributing to the community in which you operate then. And that's one of the things that we look at. Responsible business. Yes. You know, that is, the, that is today and that is the future. And are we having a positive impact on the environment around us, on the society around us? And of course, these big companies who are involved in all of this now have a, a duty, really, to make sure that they're working with the local governments, to make sure that, that workers are working in, in uh, the right environments, to make sure that they're safe, that they're clean, uh, and that people are allowed to live a reasonable life. This isn't just a, we should get on and tell, do something to help. They absolutely must. The days of turning a blind eye to what was happening down the supply chain are long gone.